Hello everybody and welcome to the SOS Heritage course of Risk Management for Cultural Heritage. My name is Carlotta Preduzin and I'm a Certified Risk Manager for Cultural Heritage. Let me briefly introduce myself. I'm an art historian specialized in museology, museography and protection of cultural heritage. I have more than 20 years experience in museums and I joined Carabinieri Corp till 2021. So, what is today's topic about? I'm going to give you a short introduction to the main topics on risk management, museum security, emergency management, and of course, we will have the opportunity to define the role, the responsibility and the soft skills of risk manager for cultural heritage. In addition, I would like to share some advice with you, hoping that uh, will be useful for your future career. So, are you ready? Let's go! Today, we are living in an increasingly complex and interdependent world that it is constantly changing. The speed of events and the way at which they happen is greater than our ability to manage them. Also, the process of globalization, the internet and social media have played an important role in changing our perception of time and space. That is why we are living in a society dominated by uncertainty. As mentioned by the principle and guideline of risk management, organization of all types and sizes, also museums, of course, are affected by internal and external factors that make the achievement of their goal uncertain. Risk is the effect that this uncertainty has of the objective of the organization. Uh, for example, if uh, we think of uh, global warming or the war between uh, Russia and Ukraine or, uh, for example, uh, how the global pandemic has uh, changed the world, we can conclude that we are living in a society dominated by risk. But the question is, uh, does risk have uh, a positive or negative connotation? Because there are two main types of risk connotation. In one hand, uh, a poor risk that leads to loss or damage uh, to the organization. On the other hand, a speculative risk that lead to a gain of, or an improvement of the starting point. Our main objectives as risk managers would be to identify all risks, manage and turn them and into a positive opportunity for our organization. To do so, risk management tools need to be applied. Let's see how. The notion of risk is closely linked to the uncertainties. Consequently, the risk must exist in relation to the achievement of your objectives. For that reason, the objectives of your organization should be smart. In other words, uh, specific, miserable, achievable, relevant to the context, and of course, time-based. Once the organization's smart objectives have been defined, we can apply the principle and the guidelines of risk management already mentioned that we self serve to making decision, of course, and improvement the performance of the organization. But how? With the risk management process. 
Managing risk is based on a process that involves the systematic application of policies, procedures, and practice to the activities of communicating and consulting, establish the context and assessing, treating, monitoring, reviewing, recording, and reporting risks. Such approaches must be management properly at all levels. It comprises the activities described in this diagram. Risk management activities should be an integral part of the management and decision making. For this reason, the risk management framework must be customized to the achieved objectives and to suit to the internal and external context in which it is applied. In our case, every museum is different, of course, so each a risk management process will need to be designed and applied for that purpose. Please note that although the risk management process is often presented as uh, sequential steps, in practical they are iterative activities. Let's see the six activities for risk management process.